Do you want to prototype your 2D Godot game but don't have a tile map? Do you want the flexibility to make slopes of any shape? Today I'm going to show you an alternative way to make the land masses for a level like I did in my game. At a high level, we'll be creating a static body 2D scene with a child polygon 2D. The polygon 2D is the crux of this method. Since we can add in edit points, we can shape our land in the editor. We will add logic in this script that will allow us to create the collision shape from the polygon 2D when it loads in the game. So our game objects can collide with it and we won't have to worry about adding one in the editor. Now let's put it together in Godot. For this video, I'm using the base sample code, which I have linked in the description. I also have a completed sample if you prefer learning that way. I removed the existing existing walls and floors in the sample, so there's only a player object left. This object will interact with the level we are building. I also have imported two textures, one block texture and one grass texture. With the project open, create a new 2D scene and make the root a static body 2D. Add a polygon 2D child scene. Feel free to change the color or give it a texture. If you give it a texture, you can tile it by setting repeat to enable. You won't see anything at the moment, but don't worry. We will build a polygon soon. If you're using the same project as me, don't forget to set the collision layer to two and the mask to one. Next, add a new script to the static body 2D root and give it a name. Add a tool annotation at the top of the script. If you're unfamiliar, the tool annotation allows your script to run in the editor, so we can do neat things with it like update other nodes on the fly. This will come in handy later when we make the outline. To build a collision shape when the game loads, we will implement some code in the ready function. To prevent the collider from being created while in the editor, we will add a check to ensure we are not in the editor before making the collider. If true, we will use this code to copy the points of the Polygon 2D and create a collision Polygon 2D child node. After that, we can go back to our main level scene and drag in our new land scene. To allow us to add points, right click the land instance in the scene tree and check editable children. Now you can click on the Polygon 2D and start adding points. The snapping tool is very helpful if you want to be more precise. When you connect all the points, the land will start to take shape. You can see here that I can build slopes pretty easily. Now test your game. You can see that the flickable object is colliding nicely with the land. Before we finish this video, if you want to add an outline to your land, like this grass I added to mine, I'll show you how you can do that. Go back to the land scene we just made. Add a child line 2D node. You can use a simple black outline by setting the color to black, or you can use a texture. If you use a texture, we will have to change a few settings. Set texture mode to tile so the grass texture can repeat. Set both the joint mode and the begin cap mode to round, as this will look a bit more pleasing when the outline connects at the beginning again. Under the texture settings, change filter to nearest, which will help remove artifacts if you have transparency on your texture, and repeat to enable, which will allow the texture to tile alongside our texture mode change. Of course, play around with the settings to see what fits your game best. In the land script, under the process function, we will add a logic to copy the polygon 2D's points over to the line 2D outline. To do this, add a condition that checks that we are in the editor. If true, create a packed vector2 array variable that captures the polygon's points. Also add a line of code to add the first point of the polygon to the end of the outline so that it can connect to itself. And finally, we will assign the line to these points to the points variable. When you go back to your level scene, you should see an outline on your land now. Add some points to see that the outline is following the land properly. If you keep clicking on the outline while adding points, you can lock the line 2D node in the editor to only edit the polygon. Test the game and everything should still work fine. And there you have it, an alternative way to build land and platforms in your 2D Godot game. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, it will help the channel grow. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.